welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they come and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekano, Eastern Security Network and IPOB to make our Biafran dream a reality he say the Fulani Nigerian government using force to unite Nigerians and Biafrans through ethnic cleansing is generating a lot of problems for the impostor at Asurok called Buari and his Fulani Nigerian government. A former head of state, Olushe Gwamba Senjo, who warned the Fulani Nigerian government that they cannot use force to, to, to bring unity in the zoo called Nigeria by killing Biafrans. Also, human rights group has put the Buhari government in trouble. According to reports, the former president Olusha Gwamba Senjo have asked Nigeria not to despair in the face of myriad of problems bedeviling the zoo called Nigeria by the terrorist Fulani Nigerian government. Oba Senjo said this during the opening of a Belkuta window on America at the Olusha Gwamba Senjo Presidential Library at Belkuta, Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria. And he said that Nigeria would be destroyed by its numerous challenges caused by the Fulani terrorist Nigerian government and their full soldiers, the Fulani terrorists, Boko Haram and Islamic State. While calling on citizens of the zoo called Nigeria and Biafrans to be hopeful, resilient, and be resilient towards addressing the difficulties. Obat Senjo expressed the optimism that no matter what the zoo called Nigeria is currently going through, evil will not triumph over the good. You know, since Buhari took over office in 2015, he has caused a lot of atrocities in Nigeria. He has instructed his full and terrorist military to kill Biafrans and Nigerians. And currently, they have concentrated their military in the southeast region, deceiving the whole world with their operation Golden Dawn, where they claim that the Golden Dawn was to be observed in the southwest, south south, southeast, and middle belt regions. But now they have concentrated it in Anambra State because they want to steal the election. Because they know Biafrans are not going to come out to vote. They know that. The Fulani Janjawi knows that. You know, the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Horewa, has called out on the terrorist Nigerian army and the, the criminal DSS, accusing the security outfits. I don't, I won't call them security outfits. They are terrorist organizations. They are terrorist groups of exhibiting overwhelming tendency of ethnic profiling targeting the people of Southeast and Igbo-speaking Biafrans. The Human Rights Advocacy Group made the claim following the arrest of Nollywood actor Mr. Chiwetalo Agu by the Fulani controlled Nigerian soldiers over his choice of clothes 
with the flag of Biafran Republic. Horewa expressed its anger in a statement signed by its national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Onwubiko. Arewa said the Fulani controlled Nigerian military and the criminal DSS have clearly shown their inclination toward ethnic cleansing and profiling because on more than one occasion, the Kaduna based Fulani Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Abubakar Gumi was seen holding meetings with terrorist Fulani bandits who are kidnappers and killers. Arewa noted that despite obvious evidence that the Fulani terrorist Sheikh Gumi made many television and newspaper appearances and granted extensive interviews, including the one that he accused the Nigerian military of helping to weaponize the Fulani terrorists and the Boko Harams in the Northwest. There was never any attempt on the part of the criminal DSS and the terrorist Nigerian army to invite him or arrest him for the traditional act of fraternizing and colluding with terrorists. Oriwa noted that despite the evidence that Shegumi made many television appearances, he was never arrested. You know, Oriwa further affirmed that also the Zaria based Fulani Islamic cleric, Sali Huzaria, threatened to kill Christians over the just killing of Fulani terrorists by the just youth group. But the criminal DSS and the terrorist Nigerian army looked the other way and never made attempt to arrest these two Fulani Muslim preachers. The right group noted that Chiwetalu Agu wore just a cloth with the flag, which is not unlawful, but the army tortured him and thereafter handed him over to the criminal DSS and the DSS is now saying that justice will be done. According to Arewa, they asked, which justice? This is pure ethnic profiling and vendetta which is unconstitutional. Arewa said that they demand the immediate release of Mr. Chi Wetalo Agu by the criminal Nigerian DSS, a Fulani DSS, or they charge him to court so that the world will see how low the zoo called Nigeria has degenerated in the practice of appetite policies by the current terrorist Fulani Nigerian government that releases and reintegrates terrorist Boko Haram Islamic jihadist terrorists and the Fulani jihadist terrorists. My brothers and my sisters, the Fulani Janjaweed will surely pay for all this they are saying. No matter what they are doing, Biafra must be free. Biafra must be restored. They can try any trick and tactics that they are doing. But every day is for the thief. And one day is for the owner of the house. You know, Pharaoh never knew that one day the Israelites will be free. But when their time of freedom came, not even the mighty army of Pharaoh could stop them. Rather, they were consumed. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.